अपार सच्चित सुखवारी राशेर यस्योर मिमात्रम भुवनम समस्तम गुहाहितम तम रमनम गभीरम चिंता विहीनम रदि चिंतयामि ओम नमो नारायण ओम नमः शिवाय ओम श्री देवी नमः These five evenings or late afternoons we are indeed very blessed to have this opportunity to study one of the most excellent scriptures of recent times namely upadesha sara composed in the early part of the last century 20th century by a great enlightened soul shri ramana maharshi this is a very unique and highly precious text in just 30 verses this text does great justice to the age old and glorious spirituality that blossomed in india as all of you know in india for thousands of years tremendous amount of research experimentation exploration went into the inner domain even as the society was prosperous and well managed outwardly by very many kings and rulers on a parallel track there were all the time great rishis great seers great spiritual masters and that is what i meant by saying so much of inquiry took place on the indian soil and therefore countless forms of spiritual practices and paths what we may call yogas bhakti yoga raja yoga karma yoga jnana yoga kundalini yoga and various combinations of these and what is the whole idea to suit the temperament of every human being every human being has his own or her own mix of thoughts and emotions background tendencies what suits x may not go well with y this is a truth that we have to face therefore in sanatan dharma there was provision for everybody to select choose a way of practicing spiritual sadhana that would be optimum that would be ideal for him or her in this way the spirituality of india is simply vast and sadly enough at many places it is misunderstood many people simply brush it aside as a bundle of superstitions but those who have had the patience and have had the blessing of studying from right people are awestruck at the depth and the scope of indian spirituality so without going long on the history of indian spirituality i want to come to the uniqueness of upadesha sara which literally means sara the essence of upadesha spiritual instruction this upadesha sara does very summary comments offers very summary comments on karma yoga 
what is karma yoga essentially bhakti yoga what is it all about in essential terms raja yoga or patanjali yoga without going to much details but to capturing the essentials and last but not the least the dana yoga the way of wisdom the way of understanding the way of seeing things as they are is also given here in a unique way where shri ramana maharshi makes profound very insightful comments it would be no exaggeration to say that these three verses that the these 30 verses are in each of them suitable for profound contemplation meditation it's possible to take one verse any one verse of these 30 turn inward and think about it and go to tremendous depths of peace within ourselves so we have karma bhakti yoga and nana presented here and shri ramana maharshi was especially known for championing what is called self inquiry and he excels in self inquiry in this particular text which of course comes from the 17th verse just a few words about ramana maharshi though more than half of you know about him for probably others i should say born in 1879 10 years after mk gandhi was born maharshi ramana lived till the year 1950 at the age of 17 17 ramana who was in his childhood known as venkat raman had the so called death experience in his uncle's house he was preparing for some examination at his school but suddenly he did not know what was happening certain tremendous fear of death seized him he felt he was going to die and on one hand there was fear but on the other thanks to some divine purva sanskaras past impressions this 17 year old boy has an urge to see what it is to die and that gets the better of him he lies down on the ground and as he reports later his body turned cold blood circulation breathing and other things stopped it seems at least that is how he experienced he saw that there is no thought also though there was no body idea and no thought also passing through him he clearly saw as he reported later that he existed therefore i am whether there is body or mind whether they are there or not i am became a personal realization for him after that within a few days he walked away to a ancient holy place called tiruvannamalai where there was there was an is a very ancient shiva temple he went there threw away whatever little belongings he had with him wore just a loin cloth he found a barber got his hair cut shaved it like a sanyasi nobody initiated him he surrendered to god he entered the arunachala shiva temple after a quick bath in the pond nearby just with a loin cloth he threw away his sacred thread also he was born to a brahmin family just with a loin cloth saying oh father i have come 
he entered the Shiva temple and again going by what he reported later as he was about to enter a blinding light from the sanctum sanctorum garbha griha welcomed him and then for years he was just around there meditating below this tree or meditating in a pit which was below like a underground basement or meditating a little far near a rock and sometimes not eating sometimes whatever some people came and offered him he would eat not caring for the body it is believed that he had a certain tremendous realization and then he was staying in that understanding i am not this body i am the pure spirit chaitanya atma tattva as the scriptures say and no matter what happens to the body or mind nothing happens to me these are all words we talkers speakers pravachan kar say for him no particular words were necessary but the understanding was in him he stayed by that understanding the highest form of meditation really speaking is not from reciting something or mumbling something or concentrating on some form or symbol the highest form of meditation as per the scriptures is to stay anchored in the understanding of our being the pure self that is what he did for a few years and eventually and slowly people came to know about him and then a great scholar called ganapati muni who had hundreds of disciples around the country recognized the merit recognized the great value of this young boy and he suggested to everybody let us call this young boy ramana maharshi and from the age of 17 when he came to that town till the age of 71 till he dropped his body for 54 years ramana maharshi remained in the near abouts of tiruvannamalai and he had no plans to build some institution set up an ashram gather followers raise funds he was above all this he remained there and in a very natural spontaneous way out of love from his heart not some idea in his head he shared his insights some sort of ashram and couple of temples grew around him in due course of time and before he dropped his body he left behind a great legacy he did not give formal lectures he answered questions of people and sometimes out of certain inspiration he translated some of the old works of adi shankara and made it available he hardly wrote anything upadesha sara in our hands is one of the few works that he actually wrote composed 30 verses originally in his mother tongue he wrote tamil which i also don't know then it was translated into sanskrit by himself with maybe a little assistance from some scholars that is about maharshi ramana there is a lot of literature about him today around the world there are people who are inspired by him just two weeks ago i myself went to ashboro near raleigh in north carolina spent a night there there is a retreat center an ashram a place of tremendous silence and natural beauty where they hold retreats once in a while a bunch of americans deeply touched by maharshi ramana run that place aham aham in sanskrit as you know means i and maharshi ramana promoted the inquiry who am i 
in sanskrit you would say kaha aham who am i they name the center aham though their expansion is also inter- interesting and amusing aham also stands for association of happiness for all mankind <laughs> so if you see www.aham.com you will find details of the ashram but it is for self inquiry i made the mistake once of in a lecture telling people go see aham.org i said instead of com there were many years ago in california and one it guy was there in the audience and those days people were not so active on internet but this it guy was a little already 